B Digger starting lineup brought to you by High Plains Bank, hometown service in a higher plane. That's High Plains Bank, 502 Central Avenue in Wiggins for assistance in opening a loan, equity line of credit, or a checking account. See what over a century of customer service can do for you at High Plains Bank. Batting first is the catcher, Alec Peterson. The shortstop, Arnoldo Maltos Garcia, hits second. First baseman, Ryan Hirschfeld, bats third. The cleanup hitters, the pitcher, Kyle Rosenbrock. Batting fifth is the center fielder, Nico Guzman. B.J. Hirschfeld, the second baseman, hits sixth. Batting seventh, the third baseman, Mikey Gutierrez. The D.H. Oscar Soto hits eighth. And Grayson Simmons, the left fielder, will be batting ninth for the V-Diggers. Brandon Ewings at first for University. Ryan Jones at second. J.P. Redfern is the third baseman. Brandon Basler at short. Around the outfield, Spencer Wilcox in left. Carson Cox in center. The right fielder is Jake Spence. Behind the plate is Cody Rush. And the right-hander, Braden Peef, is on the hill for University. You can follow us pitch-by-pitch pitch as always at KSIRsports.com or Facebook and Twitter updates at KSIR Sports on Twitter and at 1010 KSIR Sports on Facebook. No way you can miss it even if you're not tuning into the game or are tuning in now and cannot tune in later. That's the beauty of social media. And KSIRsports.com. So the opening pitch brought to you by State Farm Insurance. Home model life and health. State Farm Insurance is there for you and your family. Give Greg Mullen a call, 842-4555. The sidearm breaking ball is down the middle for a strike at the knees. No balls and one strike to Alec Peterson. The Beat Diggers looking for their 11th win. University looking for their 14th victory. The wine, the 0-1. Breaking ball swung on granite off the pitcher towards the shortstop. Bazzler picks it up, throws to first, and out. Barely out is Alec Peterson. And there's one down. That'll go one to six to three. That'll bring up baby Maltos Garcia. Sharp hit ball by Peterson. If it's not deflected over there by the pitcher, Peef, it would have been a base hit. As Baby steps back into the box here as the number two hitter. Wind and pitch, and the sidearm curveball is up and in. One ball and no strikes. About 375 in that right center field alley. No other dimensions listed well. About 330 down the left field line. 1-0. Swung on and fouled off to the right on the slow breaking ball. Count is leveled at 1-1. One one. The B-Diggers will be throwing their ace, Kyle Rosenbrock, in this game. And he's had tons of rest. The last time he had tons of rest, he threw a one-hitter over five innings in a 10 nothing victory over Fort Morgan. And he won one. And that breaking ball is a strike just above the knees. Down the middle, it's one and two. To Arnoldo Baby Maltos Garcia. Beef is ready. Gets the sign from Rush. And the one-two. Swung on and fouled off the end of the bat. Count remains at one and two to Maltos Garcia. And after this game, we'll have the Rockies and the Mets from Coors Field. Rockies on deck at 6.05, opening pitch at 6.40. The wind by Braden Peef and the one-two pitch to Baby is a fastball outside. Everything's sidearm from Braden Peef. University coached by Tim Galindo, the Bee Diggers by Mark Muniz. Bee Diggers in their new jerseys and the gray pants. Gray pants for University and the Navy blue tops. 2-2 pitch. Swung on and lifted towards center field. Carson Cox is going back, still going back, has room, makes the catch. And there are two down at the top of the first inning. Now batting number 23, Hirschfeld. Here's Ryan Hirschfeld. The bead digger first baseman. Fairly light crowd for a critical contest. With two down in the first. Hirschfeld had a base hit against Resurrection Christian as the fastball's outside and brushes 13 nothing loss on Monday. Their game on Tuesday postponed till tomorrow. At home against Lions, the Patriot League regular season finale, and the 1-0 offering. 
And the bender is down and away. Two balls and no strikes to the senior first baseman, Ryan Hirschfeld. Hard to keep him hitless in any game. Brayden Peef gets the sign, the offering. Swung on and driven towards the right center field gap. Cox will not get to that baseball, and it takes one big hop up against the top of the fence. Around first as Hirschfeld is into second with a two-out double. And that's what happens occasionally when you fall behind in the count. Here's Kyle Rosenbrock trying to help his own cause. Kyle was not with the team on Monday. In that loss to Resurrection Christian. Let's see if Hirschfeld, is he going to get a courtesy runner? Yeah, I don't think so. A delay for some unknown reason. Rosenbrock was four for six against Estes Park on Saturday in his last game, the stretch. And the offering. Swung on, grounded to third, off the third baseman's glove. Redford picks it up, picks it up again after dropping it for a second time, and Rosenbrock is safe. Holding up as Hirschfeld had no other choice. Rosenbrock reaches on the air by Redford. That'll bring up Nico Guzman, who had nine hits in a row before striking out against Resurrection Christian. Just on a major tear. And he's got man in scoring position. One man in scoring position. The stretch by Brayden Peef. And the offering. And the breaking ball's right down the middle for a strike. It's 0-1. Hirschfeld at second. Rosenbrock at first. The bee diggers have yet to score in the top of the first inning. The stretch. And he throw back to first. And the ball is thrown away down the right field line. Hirschfeld is headed to third. Rosenbrock to second. And that will be an error on the pitcher, Peef. And now two men are in scoring position. Second error of the inning by University. Let's see if the B-Diggers can take advantage. But Guzman down to the count of no balls and one strike. And now Peef out of the windup with only first base open. Rush relaying the signs. And there are many of them. 0-1. And the curveball is outside. Levels the count at one ball and one strike. The first two B-diggers were retired. The last two B-diggers have reached. And the offering. And that's down and away. Took something off it. Two and one to Nico Guzman, the B-Digger center fielder. Hitting with an open stance from the right side. Wind and pitch. That curveball is a strike on the inner half thigh high. And that levels the count at two and two to Nico. Got to be swinging here. Anything close. Runners take their leads. And the 2-2 offering. Swung on and foul tipped into the glove of Rush. And Guzman strikes out. No runs, one hit, two errors, and two men left. Let's head to the bottom of the first. The beat diggers were held scoreless. University coming to bat on 1010KSIR and KSIR.com. Let's head to the bottom of the first inning. Beat diggers and University Bulldogs are scoreless. Here is the University starting lineup. Batting first is the second baseman, Ryan Jones. Third baseman, J.P. Redford hits second. The third hitter is the shortstop, Brandon Basler. Brandon Ewing, the first baseman, hits fourth. Batting fifth is the D.H. Nate Lopez. The left fielder, Spencer Wilcox, hits sixth. Carson Cox in center, bat seventh. The eighth place hitter is the right fielder, Jake Spence. And Cody Rush, the catcher, hits ninth. Ryan Hirschfeld at first for Brush. B.J. Hirschfeld at second. Over at third is Mikey Gutierrez. At short is Arnoldo Baby Maltos Garcia. Grayson Simmons in left. Nico Guzman in center. The right fielder is Zane Fow. Alec Peterson is behind the plate. And Kyle Rosenbrock will throw to Ryan Jones hitting from the left side. Wind and pitch. Fastball. Must have been a little bit high. One ball and no strikes. 
The wind by Rosenbrock, the pitch. Fastball is inside, and that was clearly a ball, as opposed to the first pitch. Two balls and no strikes. Rosenbrock delivers. Fastball down the middle for a strike just above the knees. Two and one. B Digger stranded two in the top of the first inning. And the offering. Fastball down the middle. Actually, on the outer half of the knees, it's two and two. Two balls and two strikes to Ryan Jones. Here's the wine and offering. Swung on, line down the left field line, foul. A late swing, and the count remains at two and two. To Ryan Shones in the bottom of the first inning, the leadoff hitter for the Bulldogs. The wind by Rosenbrock, the pitch. Swung on, breaking ball, grounded right side, into right field for a base hit just beyond the outstretched glove and gloves of both Hirschfelds. Up next, number 27, J.P. Redfern. Here is J.P. Redfern. Right-handed hitter. Before your next mixer or feeder truck purchase, compare the MMI Design Craftsmanship and Service, MMI International, 842-5161. That's MMI International. Let's see if Shones has speed. You would expect he would being the leadoff hitter. Fastball right down the middle, strike one. And Rosenbrock is bringing it today. Expect several strikeouts from the junior right-hander. No balls in one strike, although this is a very good hitting team. The stretch and the pitch out, nothing doing. Throw back to first, and the tag applied by late. One ball and one strike to J.P. Redfern, the third baseman for University, who committed an error in the top of the first inning. Rosenbrock looks in, a two-step lead at first for Shones. And the offering swung on and lifted into shallow center field. Nico Guzman to his left, still running, makes the one-handed catch, and there's one down. One down for Brandon Basler. The right-handed hitting shortstop for University. Now the B-Diggers looking for a double play to end the inning. Again, a short lead for Shones at first. A stretch by Rosenbrock. And the pitch. Fastball, a strike on the outer half just above the knees. It is 0-1. It's more than likely as Rosenbrock's final start of the season. Everything else will be a non-league game except tomorrow. The pitch. Breaking ball is just inside. That levels the count at 1-1. One and one. To the right-handed hitting, Brandon Basler. Rosenbrock back on the left side of the rubber. A stretch. And the offering. Fastball, a strike. Outside corner. Just above the knees again. It is one and two. To Brandon Basler. Again, a short lead for Shones. The pitch, fastball is swung on and foul back and out of play. Went for a pitch that was above the letters. Count remains at one and two. Just over 400 straight away here at Tom Roche Field, the home of the University Bulldogs. Rosenbrock delivers, swung on, grounded up the middle. That's a base hit into center field on a hanging curveball. The second is Shones. And University is threatening here in the bottom of the first inning. That'll send up Brandon Ewing. Ewing, a right-handed hitter for the Bulldogs. Big, strong right-handed hitter. Yeah, the pitch selection was good by Rosenbrock. He just missed the location badly. Right down the middle of the plate on a hanging curveball. He's lucky it was only a base hit. The stretch. And the pitch. 
breaking ball in the dirt. Blocked beautifully by Peterson. Count is at one ball and no strikes. The B-Diggers did not score in the top of the first inning. Rosenbrock looks back. The offering. Fastball is way outside. Moves the count to 2-0. and oh. This is a dangerous count of your Rosenbrock. You don't want to give in to this right-handed hitting Ewing who's got power. 2-0 pitch. Fastball. Inside. Jeez, where did he miss? Even Rosenbrock's wondering. That looked like it hit the corner. 3-0. One pitch away from loading the bases. Peterson lays down the sign. 3-0. That's right there. On the outer half at the knees, 3-1. and one. Jones at second, Basler at first. They have two hits to begin the game. They're the bottom of the first. 3-1 pitch. Swung on and grounded a second. Hirschfeld has it. Flips the second for one. Back to first. Two. It's a 4-6-3 double play. Hirschfeld. Amantos Garcia to Hirschfeld. And University's done in the bottom of the first inning. No runs, two hits. No errors and a man left. Let's head to the second. We're scoreless between the Bulldogs and the Beat Diggers on 10-10 KSIR and KSIR.com. Nothing, nothing. As we head to the second inning. In Greeley. And the Beat Diggers will be sending up B.J. Hirschfeld, Mikey Gutierrez, and Oscar Soto against the right-hander Brayden Peef. With the B-Digger striding two in the first inning. And the right-hander delivers. Breaking ball is inside. One ball and no strikes. And the offering swung on grounded right back to Peef, and he'll throw to first. And B.J. Hirschfeld is out on just two pitches. Number 16, Mike Gutierrez. That'll bring up Mikey Gutierrez. I tell you, almost at the move here because there's a covering that's probably about 10 degrees colder and other facets of this park. Wind and pitch. Breaking ball is a strike at the knees. To Gutierrez. No balls in one strike. The beat diggers had a Ryan Hirschfeld double in the top of the first inning. Here's the wind and the offering. Breaking ball way outside. Levels the count at one and one. There's the wind and pitch on the outside corner. Boy, that was a generous strike. Looked like it was off the plate. One and two to Gutierrez. P. Freddy. So is Mikey G. The wind and pitch swung on. It looked like he waved at it, and they appealed to first. Was there a swing? No swing. I think the bead diggers might have gotten a break there. Two balls and two strikes to Mikey Gutierrez. One down, nobody on. We're in the second, no score from Greeley. The pitch way outside on the sidearm fastball. Count moves to three and two to the bead digger third baseman. Gutierrez, the seventh place hitter in this lineup. Time is called. All right, Peef back on the hill. And the pitch. Swung on, line towards left field, coming on and making the catch. In left field with Spencer Wilcox. There's two down. The ball was hit like a bullet. Now batting. But right at Wilcox. Here's Oscar Soto down to the eighth spot in the lineup. He has struggled of late. Lots of strikeouts. 
They want him to get comfortable again before he moves back up in the lineup. Wine and pitch. Swung on and lifted extremely high down the right field line. Jake Spence giving chase in foul territory, shading his glove, and cannot make the catch. Almost got to it. It's 0-1. And that's the uppercut swing that Soto has. That time he got underneath that baseball big time and hit a major league pop-up. 0-1-1 to Soto. Peef gets the sign. And the offering. Swing and a foul off the catcher to the screen. 0-2 oh, is the count on Soto. No score in the top of the second inning. B Diggers being out hit right now. 2-1, to one, but that's certainly not a factor at this point. The pitch. Fastball is upstairs. Ball one, strike two to Soto. Rush lays down the sign. Peef accepts. And the offering is outside with a sidearm fastball. Count moves to two and two. Two balls and two strikes. And the pitch outside with that sidearm changeup, three and two. Soto doing a nice job of hanging in. Braden Peef. Again, getting the sign here from Rush. It'll be a payoff pitch with two down and the bases empty in the second. Soto might call time. Nope, he's not going to do it. 3-2 pitch. Swing and a miss on a curveball. And the B-Diggers retired in order in the second. An inning and a half complete. Rush nothing. University nothing. On 10-10 KSIR and KSIR.com. Nothing, nothing headed to the bottom of the second inning. B-Diggers turned a 4-6-3 double play to end the first inning. One hit into by Brandon Ewing. Against this B-Digger right-hander, Kyle Rosenbrock. As we start the bottom of the second inning with a left-handed hitter for University. It'll be Nate Lopez, the DH stepping in. Rosenbrock ready. Wine and pitch. Fastball is down the middle for a strike. It's 0-1. The Bulldogs had two hits in the opening frame. And the offering. Fastball, a strike on the inner half at the knees. 0-2 to Lopez. Rosenbrock ready. And the pitch. Swing and a miss and a ball in the dirt. Peterson will pick it up. He'll throw to first. And Lopez is officially struck out. Strikeout number one for Rosenbrock and one down in the bottom of the second Strike inning. Number 24, Spencer Wilcox. For the right-handed hitting Spencer Wilcox. Rosenbrock's last start resulted in a loss, a loss in Eaton. That was a 12 to 2 setback to pitch. Fastball down and away. B Diggers were only down in that game 6 to 2. And Rosenbrock was not on the mound anymore. And then it fell apart for the B Diggers. And the offering over but low. Two balls and no strikes to Wilcox. Rosenbrock ready. Wind and pitch. Swung on and fouled off to the right and well out of play. For all your farm and ranch supplies, including uh, Purina feeds and everything, Mr. D's Ace Farm and Home Center, 122 Custer Street in Brush, also in Fort Morgan and in Sterling. 2-1 pitch. Swung on, line to right field. Coming on is foul and he plays it off his glove. He can't find the baseball. It got behind him on the dive. Picking it up as Guzman around second base and holding up for University. It's Wilcox. It'll be a straight-up double. Foul wasn't sure how to play that at all. Just took a dive at it, and luckily, 
That made some contact with a glove. So University threatening here in the bottom of the second inning. Carson Cox, the center fielder, steps in. With one out, third hit for the Bulldogs. Rosenbrock gets the sign from Peterson. And the offering. Fastball is a little bit up and in. Not getting that call today. One ball and no strikes. The stretch. And the pitch. Fastball. Oh, a little bit high. you got to be kidding me. Those are belt high strikes. But not getting the call. 2-0. and oh. And the pitch. Right down the middle. Just above the knees. Getting that pitch at the knees. But nothing above the thighs. you got to keep it down to be given a strike here. 2-1. and one. Off of second is Wilcox. One down, one on in the second. The pitch outside with a fastball, three and one. Cox is the seventh place hitter in this university lineup. And it's a one nothing lead for University. Lost you there for just a second. We have two down and two on here in the bottom half of the second inning. And stepping in is Shones. Rosenbrock trying to limit the damage. The stretch and the offering. Fastball is down and away. First and third. One ball and no strikes on Shones. The stretch and the offering. The breaking ball is a strike down the middle. And that evens the count at one ball and one strike. The pitch, fastball, a strike, tailing away from the hitter. One and two. The Shones. Rosenbrock delivers. Swung on line into left field. That's a base hit and a fastball down the middle. Carson Cox scores. To second is Rush. It's an RBI single for Ryan Jones. And University leads two to nothing in the bottom half of the second inning. Here's JP Redfern who popped to center in the first inning. Number 27. University showing why they are fighting for second place. Here in this Patriot League, the pitch. Fastball is upstairs. One ball and no strikes. Rosenbrock gets a sign. The pitch. Low with another fastball. 2-0. Oh. oh, you fall behind this hitter. Any hitter near the top of the line, it could be trouble. 2-0 -oh offering. Swung on and grounded up the middle. Second baseman, Dosport, off of Hirschfeld's glove. Picked up by Montos, and he's going to keep the runner at third. Nice play by both Hirschfeld and Montos. It's an infield single for Redfern. Now batting number 12, and the Red bases Bassler. are loaded for Brandon Bassler. Keep in mind, Bassler did have a base hit at his first at bat. Can't have one now. Not this is going to get ugly early. The pitch. Fastball a strike. That was belt high. No balls in one strike. Out of the windup. With the bases loaded is Rosenbrock. Down 2 nothing. the pitch. Swung on and grounded right side. Second baseman Hirschfeld has got it. Flips the second for the force. And the inning, thankfully, for the beat diggers, is over. However, a productive inning there for University as they were able to score a couple of runs. University scores those two runs on four hits, no errors, and the bases were left loaded. Let's head to the third. University two brush nothing on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. Let's head to the third inning. The Bay Diggers trail the University Bulldogs by a score. Of two to nothing in Greeley. Beat diggers better get the bats going. 
As this university team extremely talented. As are the Beat Diggers, but you got to beat a good team, and the Beat Diggers have only beaten Fort Morgan this year in terms of quality teams. Grayson Simmons, 9 1 and 2 to lead off the third. The pitch and in the dirt with a sidearm fastball is Braden Peef. A couple of RBI singles have gotten University out on top. Peef ready. 1 0. Swing and a miss, diving away from Simmons, and he pulled his body completely. One ball, one strike. Visit Morgan Community College online, morgancc.edu. Imagine your possibilities, believe in yourself, and achieve your goals with Morgan Community College. Swing and a miss. He's pulling badly. He's not going to hit that baseball. One and two. The right leg is pointed towards the first base. G-Man's got to stay in there. He wants to hit that pitch tailing away from him. One ball, two strikes, and the offering outside with the off-speed pitch. Count levels at two and two. Yeah, he wants to pull the ball, but I think he's going to have to go the other way. Third baseman Redford way off the line, and he swings and grounds it weakly to the right side. He pulled the pitch that was outside, and underhanding to first is Peef, and there's one down. The pitcher did exactly what the hitter wanted him to do. Here's Alec Peterson, who grounded to short. It was a ground ball off the pitcher that deflected right to the shortstop, Basler. Laying down the sign is Cody Rush and the pitch. And the curveball's in there for a strike. On the outer half at the knees, it's 0-1. 2-0 University in the top of the third inning. University has committed two errors, but they were both in the first inning when the Beat Diggers did not capitalize. Swung on and grounded a third. Perfect hop for Redford and throws to first. Peterson is out number two in the top of the third. Up to bat, number 12, Maltos. Here's Arnoldo Maltos Garcia popped to center. Brush loses this game, and they qualify for the playoffs. They could be a easily a 31 or 32 seed. Hopefully they would not be put in that position. Because they're better than that. They're certainly much better than that, especially in this tough league. Wine and pitch. Curveball is swung on and lifted down the right field line, twisting into foul territory. And it's 0-1. No balls and one strike. To Baby Matos Garcia. Bay Diggers got a Ryan Hirschfeld double in the first inning. That's been it. Wine and offering. Fastball is up and in. Count leveled at one and one. To Arnoldo Maltos Garcia. Looking for another one, two, three inning as Peef, the pitch. Swung on and chopped over the mound. The shortstop in front of the bag throws to first, and Basler makes the play. Matos Garcia out by a step. One, two, three for the second straight inning for Braden Peef. We head to the bottom of the third. University two brush nothing on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. The Bulldogs lead the Beat Diggers by a score of two to nothing. We head to the bottom of the third in Greeley at Tom Roche Field. Up to bat, number 17, Brandon Ewing. Brandon Ewing will be the hitter. He bounced into a 4-6-3 double play that ended the university threat in the first inning. But they would get two in the second. The pitch, swag, and a miss and a fastball just below the letters. It's 0-1. He tried to make it 3 nothing with one swing. Rosenbrock gets the sign from Petey. 0-1 pitch. Curveball is out right at the plate. Good breaking ball there by Rosenbrock. No balls and two strikes. Here's the wind and the offering. Fastball is in the dirt. Took something off it. 
One and two. The Bulldogs have six hits off of Rosenbrock. The Bee Diggers have one off of Brayden Peef. The pitch. Swing! And a miss and a fastball just below the letters again. And there's one down. Strikeout number three for Kyle Rosenbrock. That'll bring up Nate Lopez, the left-handed hitting DH. He struck out his first time. Rush can keep it at 2 nothing. They can figure out Brayden Peef, though. Be over to take, able to overtake the Bulldogs. The pitch, up and away, took something off it. It's 1-0. That was the 50th pitch thrown by Rosenbrock. 31 strikes, 19 balls, 3 strikeouts, 1 walk. The pitch, up and in, not even close. Try to give Lopez a little bit of a shave. Two balls and no strikes. Wind kicking up again. And the pitch right there, down the middle. Ball two, strike one. Petey lays down the sign. Two on offering. The curveball is just outside. Lots of late action, but it missed the strike zone. Three and one to Lopez. Rosenbrock delivers. Swung on and popped up into foul territory and out of play. Third baseman Guter is giving chase, but it's behind the university dugout. Three and two. To Nate Lopez. Rosenbrock looking for his fourth strikeout. Lopez calls time. Trying to throw Rosenbrock off his rhythm. Well, let's see if it works. Rosenbrock ready. 3-2 pitch. Swung on. Chopped foul to the screen. Count remains at 3-2. and two. Northeast Colorado's locally owned hometown savings alone with locations in Fort Morgan and Brush. Equitable savings alone with financial solutions for you. It'll be another payoff pitch. Here it is. Swing! And a miss and a fastball right down the middle belt high. Lopez strikes out. Strikeout number four. Two down in the bottom of the third inning for Spencer Wilcox, who doubled in his first at bat. The wind by Rosenbrock in the pitch. Swung on and lifted deep down the right field side, but twisting foul. And well out of play. Late swing there by Wilcox. It is 0-1. Bee Diggers looking to generate a rally once they're back inside the dugout. As they've had no base runners in the second and third innings. In fact, seven Bee Diggers have been retired in a row. 0-1 pitch. Swag and a mess overpowered. Wilcox with a fastball. It's 0-2. No balls and two strikes. Pitch by Rosenbrock. Fastball just missed the inside corner. One ball and two strikes. Rosenbrock ready. Wine and pitch. Swung on and lifted foul and off to the right and out of play. Count remains at one and two with two down and the bases empty in the bottom of the third. The Bulldogs lead by a deuce in Greeley over the Beat Diggers. Rosenbrock facing the four, five, and six hitters in this inning. Fastball swung on and missed. Rosenbrock strikes out the side in order in the third. Five strikeouts in the game. Let's head to the fourth. It is University 2, Brush nothing on 10-10 KSIR and KSIR.com. It'll be the heart of the order for Brush in the top of the fourth inning. Ryan Hirschfeld, Kyle Rosenbrock, and Nico Guzman. Against the right-hander, Brayden Peef. He's not been overpowering, but has been effective. He's pitched to contact, and his defense outside of the first inning has done the job. Hirschfeld did lace a double into right center field. In fact, that base hit by Hirschfeld is Brush's only hit. So they got to do a much better the second time around in this lineup. As he leads off the fourth inning in Greeley. 
critical game for Brush. And if they make the playoffs, they'll be one of the last two or three teams in if they lose this game. Because they can still lose this game and go 11, or check that, 13-6. and six, But with four Patriot League losses, that's going to lower their seating significantly. P. Freddy. Line and pitch. The breaking ball's right down the middle for a strike. And it is 0-1. Rush relays the signs. And the offering. Swung on, grounded foul up the third base side. No balls and two strikes. AC Ice proudly supports local high school sports throughout northeast Colorado. Don't just settle for any old frozen water. Get AC Ice at any local grocery or convenience store near you. AC Ice. No balls, two strikes to Hirschfeld. To lead off the fourth inning, University leads Brush 2 to nothing. The right-hander, Brayden Peef, delivers. Fastball is upstairs. So high that the catcher, Rush, caught it standing up. Or just standing, period. The wind and the 1-2 in the dirt bounces away. 2-2. Two and two. To Hirschfeld. Hirschfeld and Rosenbrock both reached, but with two down in the first. And then Guzman struck out to end the rally. 2-2 pitch. Breaking ball is down and away. 3-2. and two. Rush has not had the leadoff man on yet either. Here's a chance with the 3-2 offering. That is low, just a little bit low on the outer half of the plate, and Hirschfeld walks. Excellent discipline by Ryan Hirschfeld. And the bead diggers certainly needing base runners here. Fast ones. Let's see if no courtesy runner. I thought somebody was coming out, but that's not the case. Hirschfeld will stay in. Rosenbrock grounded a third and reached on an air by Redfern. Hirschfeld not a real threat to steal. The stretch, Brayden Peef delivers. Curveball is up and in. One ball and no strikes. Two runs on six hits for University. No runs on one hit for Brush. University has the only two errors of the game. Rosenbrock has struck out five so far for the bee diggers. And the 1-0. Low. Looked like a sinker. Two balls and no strikes. That is five balls in a row thrown by Peef. He's not missing by much, though. You have disciplined hitters up there. Two balls, no strikes. And the offering. Swung on and grounded a third. Redford has to go off his glove on a Sunday hop behind him towards shallow left. It's his second air of the game. It couldn't have been any easier. But he never had it in his glove, and he wanted to turn the double play before he got it in his glove. Up to bat, number 13, Guzman. And first and second now for Nico Guzman. Oh, that was an easy bouncer. Easy bouncer. Beat Diggers will take the break. Let's see if Guzman can go the other way. Played a run or two. Stepping off is Peef. Guzman has struck out in his last two bats, once on Monday. And his first at bat in the first. Hopefully this is just temporary. Gets going again. The stretch by the right-hander. And the pitch. Swung on and lifted foul off the end of the bat. Not a play to the right. No balls and one strike. Guzman's got a very big swing. And when you have big swings, you get big hits, but you also miss quite a bit. He's got to tighten it up, especially with first and second and nobody out. Down two to nothing on the beat diggers in the fourth inning. The stretch by the right-hander. And the offering. Curveball is grounded to third. Redford has it, steps on the bag, throws to first, double play. Too easy right there. you got to go the other way. Way, way too easy on that one. 
Number 11, Hirschfeld. There's B.J. Hirschfeld. Hirschfeld grounded out. He's 0 for 1. And he calls time. We're at the top of the hour. This is 1010 KSIR, brush for Morgan Greeley. I'm John Beltran, live from Tom Rose Field in Greeley University High School. The B-Diggers trail the Bulldogs 2 to nothing in the fourth inning. The stretch by the right-hander, Peef. And the pitch. Breaking ball is in the dirt. With Rosenbrock leading off of second. Redford had the same hop this time as he had when Rosenbrock bounced it over there. But this time Redford made the play. And the 1-0 swung on line foul and off to the right. The count moves to 1-1. One one. A walk in an air. Got two B-diggers on the base pass. but unable to move over the runners. Hirschfeld awaits. Step off, throw to second. Rosenbrock takes off for third, and the ball is dropped by the shortstop, Basler. It'll be a straight-up steal for Rosenbrock. So he's at third, a wild pitch. Would score Rosenbrock here. No error on the play. Can't assume that Rosenbrock would have been out at third. Got a great jump once the pitcher turned to second. Wine and pitch. The breaking ball is a strike on the inside corner, thigh high. One and two to Hirschfeld. Rush lays down the sign. And the one two pitch. Curveball is lined, face hit into center field. Rosenbrock crosses home plate. BJ Hirschfeld. With an RBI single, the B-Diggers have cut the lead in half. University 2, brush 1 in the top of the fourth inning. There is Mikey G, who lined the left in his first at bat. Well, that two-out hitting, that's what got University's second run and the B-Diggers' first run. Conference between Rush and his pitcher, Brayden Peef, which is just broken up. As Mikey Gutierrez steps in. With two down and one on and one in in the fourth inning. The look back and the step off. It's only the second hit he's given up, but all of a sudden just taking his time with his hitter. Peef with a pitch. Breaking ball is over for a strike. No balls and one strike to the junior third baseman, Mikey Gutierrez. So the B-Diggers did make that error and stolen base payoff. The offering. Swung on tap foul up the third base side. Count moves to 0-2 to Mikey Gutierrez. We anticipated this would be a pitcher's duel, and so far it's been. As we're nearly halfway through this game in Greeley. No balls, two strikes, two down, one on. Mikey Gutierrez, the seventh place hitter. Was about to wait a pitch, but Beef is... Stepping off, stepping on, stepping off. Now back on. Short lead for B.J. Hirschfeld at first. Rush relaying the signs. Not just one. And then calling time is Gutierrez. And this is getting a little bit boring at this point. Let's make a decision and throw the next pitch. And now stepping off, and now Peef is going to have to talk to his catcher. Well, that gives me time to tell you that 
You want your vehicle and farm equipment to be in top shape, so make sure you take care of them. Purchase the best quality parts and accessories at great prices at your local Napa store, Central Auto Parts in Fort Morgan. Now let's see if a pitch is actually going to be thrown here. No balls and two strikes. The last pitch was thrown about a minute and a half ago. The stretch. We have a pitch. It's upstairs with a fastball. One ball and two strikes. Again, Rush relaying the signs. And Peef accepts. And the long pause, the one-two. Curveball is grounded right up the middle. The shortstop Basler has it. Flips to second for the out. And that does it for the Beat Diggers in inning number four. But Rush scores a run. On one hit, one air, and a man left. Three and a half complete. It's University 2, Brush 1 on 1010KSIR and KSIR.com. 2-1 to one University as we head to the bottom of the fourth inning. In Greeley. And now Kyle Rosenbrock. Waiting off for the Bulldogs, number nine, Carson Cox. Looking to duplicate what he did one inning ago when he struck out the side in order. And Carson Cox will now step in. Cox was issued a walk. First time up, the pitch. Fastball is high. One ball and no strikes. And the offering. A little up and away, barely missed. 2-0. and oh. Rosenbrock delivers. That's outside. For some reason, he's having trouble pitching to Cox. This is 7, 8, and 9 in the lineup. Three balls and no strikes. And the offering. Strike. Three balls and one strike to Cox. Wide and pitch. A strike on the outside corner. <laughs> Three and two. Boy, that wind's whipping up. Three balls and two strikes. And the offering. Swung on and fouled off to the right. Count remains at. Three and two to Carson Cox to lead off the bottom of the fourth inning. University two, brush one. B Diggers getting an RBI single from B.J. Hirschfeld. Cox calls time. Rosenbrock has been on his game pretty nicely with those five strikeouts and one walk. Has allowed six hits, though. Four of those in that two-run second. Wine and pitch. Swing and a miss and a breaking ball. The dirt blocked by Peterson. Picks it up, throws to first. And that's four consecutive strikeouts for Kyle Rosenbrock. He's got six in the game, and there's one down for Jake Spence, who struck out swinging. Struck out swinging on a 1-2 breaking ball. Yeah, clearly, Rosenbrock is the harder pitcher to hit. It's based on what he's done so far, but it was that one inning. Here's the wide pitch. Fastball is up and in. One ball and no strikes. And the offering on the outside corner, strike one. Boy, just placed that fastball. I couldn't have done it any better. One and one to Spence. The offering swung on and grounded right side. Second baseman Hirschfeld to his left. Fields throws to first. And Jake Spence is retired. There's two down. Two down for Cody Rush. He was singled in a run in his first at bat in the second. Willow Coffee, Tea and Smoothies, and G Suites Bakery offers cookies, muffins, and sweetbreads made fresh daily. Pair with your favorite coffee, lattes, or smoothie flavors, and your set. Swung on and lifted to right field. Zane foul to his left. Locating the baseball, making the catch. And it's a 1-2-3 inning for Kyle Rosenbrock. Let's go to the fifth in Greeley. University 2, brush 1 on 1010 KSIR 
and KSIR.com. 8-9-1 and one for the B-Diggers heading to the fifth inning in Greeley. University 2, brush 1. And Braden Peef will face Oscar Soto, Grayson Simmons, and Alec Peterson. And the B-Diggers need a lot more than that. But they're only trailing by a run with three at-bats to go, and Kyle Rosenbrock is throwing extremely well. Leading off for the Beat Diggers, number oh, Here is Soto. Soto. Rosenbrock has retired seven straight. Soto struck out in his first time up, swung on and fouled straight back on a fastball sailing away. It's 0-1. Soto with an open stance from the right side. Wine and offering. Swing and a miss. Oh, that is such a loopy swing. There's a big hole in that swing. It doesn't flatten out. It goes from down to up, and that's why he misses some of those pitches. He's got great power. Hits it. It goes far. 0-2 outside. One ball and two strikes. I'm right behind the plate at ground level, so have one of the better views I've ever had. One-two pitch. Swung on and grounded right side. Diving is the first baseman. You can't get to it. Second baseman feels close to first. And in time, what a play! Shows to the pitcher, Peep covering. Shones robbing Soto of a base hit. As Ewing laid out, didn't touch the baseball. That'll go four to one. That is the play of the game so far for the Bulldogs. And one down for Grayson Simmons, who bounced to the pitcher. And he's got to go the other way. They're throwing it away from these left-handed hitters. And he fouled it to the screen. You try to pull a guy. Soto pulled that pitch. And he didn't get all of it hitting the right spot. And he still got thrown out because it rolled slow enough. With the second baseman Jones to field it. And the 0 1 outside. With a change up, it's 1 and 1. 2 to 1 University leads Brush at the top of the fifth inning. In Greeley. Braden P for the offering. Curveball hit the outside corner. Backdoor breaking ball, it's 1 and 2. One ball, two strikes, two. Grayson Simmons, and the pitch outside on that fastball tailing away. Two balls and two strikes. Grayson's got a nice swing. He can make some contact. And the offering, and he took that breaking ball down and in. Three and two. That was right over the plate until it dove away at the last second and G-Man decided to lay off. One out and the base is empty in the fifth. The B-Diggers down by a run. Three balls and two strikes. Simmons calls time. The heart of the order will be coming up at least one more time for the B-Diggers. More than likely in the sixth, unless they can muster some base runners here in the fifth. 3-2. Outside corner. Fastball. Call the strike and Simmons goes down. And there's two down for Peterson, who's grounded out twice on the left side. P with a couple of strikeouts there. Not much of a strikeout pitcher, but got the job done there. Here's the wine and offering. Curveball is over for a strike. No balls and one strike to Alec Peterson. There's the wine and pitch. Swung on and foul tipped into the glove of Rush. Count is at 0-2. Peef about to retire the beat diggers in order. He's ready. And the 0-2. Swung on and grounded a short. Basler waits, fields, throws, and offline. It's going to be a single. 
Even online, Peterson got way down that line. Probably should have charged it. We'll give him a base hit. Now batting number 12, That'll extend the inning. I think if the throw was there, he would have been safe. So I'm going to give Peterson a base hit on that one. On the slow roller to short. That'll bring up baby Matos Garcia. Popped to center and grounded a short. He is 0 for 2. The B diggers picked up their third hit there, the stretch. And the pitch. Breaking ball is a strike on the outside corner at the knees. No balls in one strike. Two to one university in the top of the fifth inning. Peef looks in and delivers. Swung on and grounded left side. The third baseman Redford has it go off his glove on a routine grounder again. Should have made that play. Clearly off his glove. He was still ranging to his left. It'll be a charity base hit. There for Matos Garcia. Didn't look it in, but it wasn't right at him. So first and second now. And here's Hirschfeld. This is your best opportunity. Redford has really struggled over there. Did turn a double play. Here comes that coach Tim Galindo with the B diggers trailing two to one, two down, and two on in the fifth inning on a couple of ground balls that found their way for hits as Peterson beat one out, even though the throw was off from Basler, and then that grounder to Redfern just didn't get the glove completely down, but since he was still moving to his left, it scored a base hit, but two very, very makeable plays. If you're tired of the same old lunch and dinner menu, switch it up, pick up something new for the hot and cold deli selection of Stubbs Gas and Oil. Great food at low prices. That's Stubbs Gas and Oil. Ryan Hirschfeld has doubled and walked. As he steps in. Here's the stretch. And the offering. And the breaking ball is over for a strike. No balls in one strike. To Hirschfeld. Hirschfeld awaits. And the pitch. And the breaking ball is inside. One and one. He's got a bigger gap in left center field. Carson Cox playing him towards right center where he doubled in the first inning, off of second is Peterson. Maltos got to see it first. And P Braden Peef. Now it comes home, but the time is called. And that'll happen to Peef because of his long pauses out there. One ball, one strike. Two down, two on. And the bead diggers trail by a run. Laying down the sign is Rush. The stretch. And the offering, outside and low, 2-1, and one, and Kyle Rosenbrock is going to hit next, and hopefully in this inning, as the B-Diggers have generated this rally with two down and nobody on. Critical pitch here for Peef, down in the count, 2-1 and one to Hirschfeld. Here it is. Oh, right over the plate at a breaking ball. Hirschfeld knew it. Wondering why he didn't unleash there. Now he's going to have to protect two and two. Rush relaying the signs. And the 2-2 two -two pitch. Swung on, driven foul down the left field line. Great swing there by Hirschfeld, but out in front. Remains at two and two. He's become quite a hitter. Hit that grand slam against Strasburg in the district championship game as a sophomore. Last year picked up his offense even more, and this year is the leading hitter on the team. Two and two to Hirschfeld. The stretch and the pitch. Swung on line, base hit into center field. Peterson is rounding third. Peterson is going to score as the throw is cut off by Ewing. The third is Matos Garcia, and the Beat Diggers have tied the game at two in the fifth inning on Ryan Hirschfeld's RBI single. And it's a brand new ball game. Kyle Rosenbrock has reached on an error twice.
Rosenbrock officially at 0 for 2. Well, let's see if he has his best plate appearance here. He could give the Beat Diggers the lead. The stretch by Peef. The pitch. And the breaking ball is down and away. One ball and no strikes to Kyle Rosenbrock. Beef again with the runners taking their leads. And the offering outside with a fastball just off the plate. Yeah, it looks to me now that Beef knows how good Rosenbrock is and is pitching a little bit around him. It is 2-0. and oh. Well, you don't want to throw him a strike here down the middle. Rosenbrock could kill it. Breaking ball is a strike on the inside corner. That backed Rosenbrock off the plate. The count is at 2-1. and one. The stretch by Peef. 2-1 pitch. Swing and a miss and a bender down and away. Rosenbrock way out in front. He misread that out of the hand of Braden Peef. And the count is at 2-2 two and two to Rosenbrock. Peef gets the sign. The stretch and the offering. Swung on and lifted a center field. Cox is way back. Still going back. Now ranging to his left. He finds the baseball and makes the catch. And that'll do it. The beat digger score a run. They get an RBI single from Ryan Hirschfeld. As we head to the bottom of the fifth inning, brush two, University two, on 1010KSIR and KSIR.com. Brush two, University two, as we head to the bottom of the fifth inning. In Greeley. Heck of a ball game here with University setting up the top of their lineup. That's what's getting dangerous here for the beat diggers. Kyle Rosenbrock has been outstanding with his six strikeouts including four in a row at one point. But now he's got to deal with Ryan Shones, who's got an RBI single in the game. Number 21, Ryan Shones. It's from the left side. In fact, Shones in the game is two for two. And he's singled to left and to right. The pitch, fastball in the outer half of the knees, it's 0-1. To Ryan Shones. Again, follow us pitch by pitch at KSIRsports.com. We advertise that ad infinitum. Breaking ball is grounded down the first baseline and a tough hop, but fielded by Ryan Hirschfeld. He steps to the back for the out. That went from a hop to a roll, and that's what made it difficult, but Hirschfeld stayed down. And Shones is retired for the critical first out in the bottom of the fifth inning. And because of that, that's eight in a row, retired by Hirschfeld. J.P. Redford singled in his last at bat. One and pitch, fastball, a strike on the outer half just above the knees at 0-1. Righty against righty. One and pitch in the dirt with a curveball. Got a good piece of Peterson to count levels. And one ball and one strike. Accidents or illness can strike at any time or day or night. How about any time, day or night, when they do every second counts? As a level three trauma center, Colorado Plains Medical Center can handle any type of emergency. It's where expertise matters. Fastball just outside. Two balls and one strike to Redfern. One down and the base is empty in the bottom of the fifth inning. Deadlocked at two in Greeley. Wine and pitch. Fastball outside corner. Strike two. Redfern didn't think so, but it clearly... Got the corner. Two balls and two strikes. Wine and pitch. Up and in with a heater. Three and two to J.P. Redfern, who's had his struggles defensively with a couple of errors. And the pitch swung on and grounded right back to Rosenbrock's left. He fields, tosses the first. And that's nine in a row retired by Kyle Rosenbrock. Two down at the bottom of the fifth inning. Here's Brandon Basler, the shortstop. He singled and reached on a fielder's choice. 
He is one for two. The wind by Kyle, the pitch. Fastball is up and in. Although this is about a 6-3 hitter. Got to wonder where that missed. Well, I mentioned up and in, but it could have been called a strike. The offering, curveball is right there. A beauty at the knees. It froze Basler. The count is level at 1-1. One and one. Wind and offering. Swung on. There's a base hit into center field. Elevated the fastball. That ends the string of nine in a row. Retired by Rosenbrock. And for University, that's their seventh base hit, but their first since the second inning. Brandon Ewing has grounded out the second and struck out. He is 0 for 2. This could boil down to a two-inning game if Rosenbrock can retire Ewing the stretch. And the pitch. Breaking ball. Swing and a miss. That ball dove into the dirt. It's 0-1. On the right-handed hitting first baseman Brandon Ewing. The stretch by Rosenbrock. And the offering. Curveball is grounded foul down the third base side. 0-2. Oh, Rosenbrock wants that same ball, knowing that he's going to throw a mean pitch here to get Ewing swinging. Usually these big, strong guys are susceptible to the fastball up and around the letters. That's how he struck about last time. 0-2 oh, pitch. Called strike three on the outside corner. Thigh high strikeout number seven for Kyle Rosenbrock, and that ends the fifth inning. No runs. One hit, no errors, and a man left. Two innings to go, and maybe more in Greeley. Brush two, University two on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. Nate Lopez is the new pitcher. As we head to the sixth inning, the Bee Diggers and the Bulldogs are deadlocked at two. As B.J. Hirschfeld and Ryan Hirschfeld came through with the RBI singles. And the B-Diggers will be facing a left-hander in Lopez. The starter, Braden Peef, allowed five hits through 86 pitches. We'll get to his full line a little bit later on. Now, Lopez was the DH. Let's see if there's any other changes made here in the infield. I think Peef was just taken out of the game, and that was it. So it'll be for the Bead Diggers, 5, 6, and 7. Nico Guzman is 0 for 2, struck out and grounded into a double play. Followed by B.J. Hirschfeld and Mikey Gutierrez. This is a critical inning for Brush being the visiting team. How many times have you seen a game tied after 5? You don't score in the top of the 6th. The other team scores in the bottom of the 6th, and you have all the pressure on you in the 7th. So this is the time to get it done for the Bead Diggers. Tied at 2. In the top of the sixth inning against the left-hander, Nate Lopez. Wind and pitch. Fastball swung on and foul straight back. No balls and one strike. To Nico Guzman. The left-hander, Lopez, fires home. Fastball is outside. And the count is level at one and one. Redford, the third baseman, playing just a few feet away from the line, attempting to prevent an extra base hit. And the one-one. Swing and a miss, and the ball diving down and in. Got a piece of the baseball under the glove of the catcher. Again, that's that big swing. Guzman not happy with himself, but been a hot hitter recently. 0 for his last three, but before that, nine hits in a row. Wide in the one-two. Swing and a miss and a breaking ball down and in. Ball is dropped. And Rush will throw to first to retire. Guzman, there's one down. One down for B.J. Hirschfeld. Number 11, Hirschfeld. Who grounded to the mound. And then an RBI single drawn the Bee Diggers to within one. That came in the fourth inning. The Bee Diggers have scored a run in each of the last two frames. 
wind and pitch. Curveball down and in. you got to read that breaking ball. Those are two pitches that Guzman swung at that he missed. Stay away from that curveball that Lopez throws, and you might have some success at the plate. As I don't know what situation we had there. Umpire said something. And apparently there was a balk there, so a second ball is up there, 2-0. and oh. And did he do the same thing again? Did he start his windup? Is that going to be 3-0 and now? It's going to be 3-0. and And the pitch. Fastball strike. I've never seen that on back-to-back pitches. Three balls and one strike to Hirschfeld. A couple of back-to-back balks. Hirschfeld still well ahead in the count at 3-1. and one. And the offering swung on and popped up on the right side. Second baseman Shones out in shallow right field into foul territory. Makes the catch. Excellent play by the university's second baseman. And there's two down. So those back-to-back balks did not hurt. Mikey Gutierrez has lined out and grounded into a fielder's choice. He will now bat. And Brush is now in deep trouble. In this frame, and they still have a 2-2 game, but Rosenbrock has to pitch almost perfect now. One in the offering. Fastball is up and away. One ball and no strikes to Mikey G. Rush relays the signs and the pitch. Swung on and foul back. Yeah, then the worst thing, you're taking the field with possibly University taking their last at bat in either the sixth or the seventh innings without the bead diggers leading the game. That's where the home team really matters at this point. One of the 0-2. Curveball is right there. Check that. That was a 1-1. Now it's 1-2 and two to Gutierrez. Lopez might go with that sweeping breaking ball down and in that he threw Guzman. As Gutierrez steps out momentarily. One ball and two strikes. The left-hander looks in. And the pitch. Curveball is up and away. Count levels at two and two. To Mikey Gutierrez. We're deadlocked at two in the sixth inning. One and pitch. Swung on and lifted into foul territory down the right field side. Long run for Spence. And makes the catch and crashes into the fence. And hopefully he's okay. A hard crash into the fence. Here come all his teammates. It's a 1-2-3 inning. And Spence is still down. We'll go to the bottom of the sixth inning. He's hurt out there and he's not getting up. Head to the bottom of the sixth inning. Brush 2, University 2 on 1010KSIR and KSIR.com. Well, the right fielder Jake Spence is finally up. Apparently he turned an ankle pretty bad. Making that catch and crashing into the fence. And looks like he'll stay in the game as he's headed to the dugout. Tied at two in the bottom of the sixth inning. And Kyle Rosenbrock continues his work out there. For the B-Diggers. It'll be the five, six, and seven hitters. Here for University. Starting off with Nate Lopez, who has struck out twice. That's good news for Brush there. And Rosenbrock, the guy that he's handled so far today. Rosenbrock struck out the side in the third. Has seven strikeouts in the game. And here's the opposing pitcher, Lopez. A left-handed hitter. 
Rosenbrock ready. And the pitch. Fastball on the inside corner for a strike. Thigh high, it's 0-1. Wine and offering. Swung on, that ball is grounded right back to Rosenbrock. Very softly throws to first. And there's one down in the bottom of the sixth inning. That'll bring up Spencer Wilcox, who has doubled and struck out swinging. Rosenbrock up to 88 pitches, 58 strikes, 30 balls. He should be able to extend to a seventh inning, assuming the bead diggers are either tied or ahead. The pitch swung on and fouled off to the right and out of play. Excellent pitcher's duel here. But now there's two pitchers for University in this game. Braden Peep, the starter, and now the pitcher of record, Nate Lopez. No balls in one box. The pitch, breaking ball. Did he wave at it? And the answer is no. It's in the dirt. One ball and one strike. With Carson Cox on deck, you get out this hitter in the next, then it's 8-9 and 1 in the seventh. Don't allow that top of the lineup to lead off in the seventh. Wine and pitch. Swung on. There's a base hit into center field on a solid line drive by Spencer Wilcox, who is now two for three. And the Bulldogs have picked up their eighth hit of the game. Now they've got a choice with Carson Cox, who has walked and struck out. He can either hit away or play some small ball and set it up for Spence, who just made a great defensive play. Small ball would involve a bunt. One on and one out. Big lead over there for Wilcox at first to stretch. Rosenbrock comes home. Swung on and fouled off to the right. No balls and one strike. A stretch by Rosenbrock. And the offering. Curveball is a strike. On the inner half at the knees. Looked like it was a little bit below the knees, but it was called a strike. 0-2. Bulldog fans didn't like that one. No balls, two strikes. And Rosenbrock pick up as they strike out. The pitch. Swung on. Grounded over the mound. The second baseman, Hirschfeld. Hat plays it off his glove. Picked up by Montos Garcia. Steps in the bag. Then throws the first late. And apparently he'd missed the bag. That'll be an error on Hirschfeld. He had it right in his glove up the middle. Precisely in his glove. Up to bat, number three, Jake Spence. First and second, I thought Matos Garcia stepped on the bag, but he was in front of the bag. Here's the danger zone I talked about. Spence up there, struck out and grounded out. The pitch swung on and fouled off to the left at 0-1. It's a little bit of a tough air to score, but Hirschfeld clearly had that ball. Now, it wasn't like the one to Redfern, where it went below his glove. That hit the middle of Hirschfeld's glove, the stretch. 0-1 pitch, swung on and missed on a breaking ball in the dirt, blocked by Peterson. The count is 0-2 with Cody Rush on deck. So if University doesn't score here, they'll have the top of the order coming up in the seventh. And the B-Diggers have 9-1-2 and two in the seventh. No balls and two strikes. Rosenbrock looks back. And the pitch. Swing and a miss and a fastball tailing away. Two down in the sixth inning. Strikeout number eight for Kyle Rosenbrock. However, watch out for Cody Rush. Up next to bat, number 33, Cody Rush. He singled a right driving in a run. The first run of the game for University also popped out. He's hit everything to the right side, which is why I wonder why B.J. Hirschfeld is so far towards the shortstop side of second. The stretch and a pitch. Breaking ball is a strike. Yeah, you got to play him to go the other way. If that ball is hit on the ground towards the right side, it's going to be a base hit. Hirschfeld is much closer to the bag than he is towards first base. 0-1. Breaking ball is low. Yeah, let's just hope that doesn't happen. At second is Wilcox. Cox at first. One ball, one strike. Two down, two on, two-two in the sixth inning. And the offering. 
Swung on and tapped foul behind the plate. Count is at one and two. Yeah, you want to pitch to your defense, but right now the defense dictates that if you throw it low and away, Cox has got an alley between first and second. Rosenbrock, though, has the ability to strike him out. One, two. Upstairs. Nice fastball, but above the letters, it's two and two. Now the twos are wild. Two balls, two strikes, two down, two on. And the game tied at two. Pitch by Rosenbrock. Swung on and lifted foul off to the right. Again, late swings in this game by Rush. And the beat diggers not shading him that way. Still a big hole between first and second. Although B.J. Hirschfeld a little bit now more towards first base. He's got a lean over there. The pitch. Swung on and popped up on the right side. The pitcher, Rosenbrock, calls for it along the line. Makes the catch. And the inning is over. Should have been batter's interference there running into Rosenbrock when he's got the right away, but it certainly didn't matter as the play is made. University is held off the scoreboard in the sixth inning. They get a run. There was a beat digger error. They get a hit. There was a beat digger error. And two left. Let's head to the seventh. Brush two. University two on 10-10 KSIR and KSIR.com. We head to the top of the seventh inning. The Bee Diggers and Bulldogs deadlocked at two in Greeley. It'll be eight, nine, and one for Brush. Oscar Soto, Grayson Simmons, and Alec Peterson against the left-hander, Nate Lopez. This is the inning that could determine the fate and certainly the seeding for the Bee Diggers and perhaps the fate in terms of the playoffs for Brush. Soto has struck out and grounded a second on a terrific play by Ryan Shones, who threw to the first baseman covering. B&B Appliance carries a full line of in-stock and ready-to-be-delivered Whirlpool appliances as the pitch is swung on and missed. With the world moving towards more green energy, time for you to recycle the old and get in with the new, new appliances, that is, at B&B Appliance and the Bee Diggers. Here with a lefty on lefty, the pitch. And that breaking ball is inside. Aaron Williams is waiting to hit next in the nine hole. He got a couple of base hits in one inning against Estes Park on Saturday. Wine and offering outside. Boy, if Soto can somehow get on. Two balls and one strike. Nate Lopez, the left-hander. Gets the sign. Wine and pitch. Swing and a miss. He was late on that one. Two and two. Got a crank a little bit earlier. Two balls and two strikes for Soto. And the offering. Yeah, he was super late. He got blown away by the fastball. Way, way late on that swing. And here's Aaron Williams. Williams with one out and nobody on in the seventh. Now batting number 25, Williams. Big at bat for Williams. Big spot to put this sophomore in considering the magnitude of this game. Here's the wind and the pitch. Strike, fastball, inside corner just above the knees at 0-1. And keep in mind, Rosenbrock has got his hands full in the bottom of the seventh. With the top of the order coming up for the Bulldogs. A one pitch in the dirt. Bounces to the screen. And the count is level. Uh, One ball and one strike. Quick moving game, but it might go extras. If the pitchers have their way. The wind and the one-one. Swung on and foul back. Fastball on the zone. Ball one and strike two to Williams. And Lopez got that nasty breaking ball. Let's see if he throws it to Williams here in a one two. Wine and pitch. Fastball is up and away. Wasted that one. Two balls and two strikes. 
Carson Cox shading Williams towards right center. So if he pulls it, he might be able to run for an extra base. 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss at a fastball neck high. That was a terrible pitch to swing at. And Williams strikes out. Two down for Peterson, who's grounded out twice and singled. It was an infield hit. That began the beat digger rally two innings ago. Lopez done a nice job since coming in. Here's the wine and the offering. Foul straight back. No balls and one strike. So we're approaching the top of the hour here in Greeley. Rockies on deck at 6.05, or we'll join it in progress. And the offering. Curveball is down and away. One ball and one strike on Alec Peterson. Two down and the bases empty in the seventh brush, and University are tied at two. And the pitch. Swung on and fouled off to the right on a fastball, diving down and in. One and two. See, the advantage would go to the beat diggers now if Rosenbrock can retire the Bulldogs in the seventh because they have the top of the order. Beat diggers now have the number one hitter with two down. The order is in favor of University going into the seventh, but it would shift the brush if they head to the eighth. Wine and pitch. Fastball is up and away. Two balls and two strikes. To Alec Peterson. Rush lays down the sign. And a 2-2 offering. Curveball is inside. Yeah, that missed. That's a good call by the umpire. That definitely missed. The Bulldog fans wanted it, but it missed the corner. Three and two. Two PD. Yeah, they're wondering where it missed. It's called inside. Peterson awaiting the payoff pitch. Swing and a miss. He got blown away by a fastball down and in. And Nate Lopez strikes out the side in order in the seventh. To the bottom of the seventh we go. The beat diggers have got to keep the Bulldogs off the scoreboard. It is brush two, university two on 1010KSIR and KSIR.com. Kyle Rosenbrock will begin his seventh inning of work. As the bead diggers and the university bulldogs are deadlocked at two. It'll be Ryan Shones to begin the seventh. And he had two base hits to begin this, to begin his day, I should say. So he's a huge threat hitting from the left side. Also made an excellent defensive play. Rosenbrock is throwing him. Batting first, number 21, Ryan Schoen. Hopefully it won't be wasted. Schoen's officially in the game is two for three. Wind and pitch. Fastball is up and away. One ball and no strikes to Shones. Rosenbrock looks in. And the pitch. The ball hit him. Wow. Rosenbrock has demonstrated such excellent control. And that one got him on the back of the right leg. Right around knee level. And that's the way the bottom of the seventh inning starts for the beat diggers. And I've said this the last few games. Especially today, I'll say, win or lose for the beat diggers, they're going to be very dangerous in the postseason. You've got two excellent pitchers, and they've got experience other teams don't have. Here is J.P. Redfern. Popped out, singled, and grounded out. You'd think he's going to bunt here. The pitch. Fastball, a strike on the outer half. And i got to believe he's going to bunt. Why wouldn't he bunt with a man at first? You're the home team with nobody out. Gutierrez playing on the edge of the grass at third. The stretch. And the offering squaring to bunt. And he waved at it and missed the breaking ball. 
It's 0-2, but he had a chance to bump the first one and didn't. Now he's in an 0-2 hole. I doubt he'll lay one down now because if he fouls it off, it's a strikeout. No balls and two strikes. The stretch and the offering. Swung on and grounded toward short. Matos Garcia flips the second. That's one. Back to first, and that's wide of the target. Up against the fence. Ryan Hirschfeld chases it down. Now he throws the second to slide, and in there is Redford. It'll be an error on B.J. Hirschfeld. Wow. A huge mistake. His second error of the game. But now a runner in scoring position. That's the same as a bunt. And Brandon Basler will now hit with a chance to end the game, and he's singled twice. You might think of, about putting him at first base. 108 pitches thrown by Rosenbrock because he's two for three. Brandon Ewing on deck has done almost no damage. He struck out twice, and Nate Lopez has struggled. Yeah, that's what's going to happen. Excellent coaching move there. And you have to do that if you're Coach Muniz. So it goes as an intentional walk. Courtesy runner at first for University. Let's see if we can spot who that is. That's Paul Medina. And the t winning run is at second base. Brandon Ewing grounded to second and struck out twice. As we are at the top of the hour, just shy of the top of the hour, this is 10-10 KSIR. Rush, Fort Morgan, Ray. I'm John Beltran. Deadlocked at two are the beat diggers and Bulldogs. In the bottom of the seventh, the pitch. Swung on and hit off the end of the bat on the ground on the right side, trickling up the first base line. Rosenbrock throws to first. Ewing is out. And the runners advance to second and third. Two down in the bottom of the seventh inning. Boy, now you got to watch out for everything. You throw a curveball, you cannot throw a wild pitch. Nate Lopez has struck out twice and grounded out. Rosenbrock can afford to challenge him. You have a base open, but Wilcox, the on-deck hitter, has been good today, but not Lopez. Not at the plate. He's 0 for 3. Out of the windup and the pitch. Fastball is up and away. All the pressure down on the beat diggers. Deadlocked at two. In the bottom half of the seventh inning. Rosenbrock delivers. Fastball a strike. Down the heart of the plate. It's one and one. One ball and one strike. Rosenbrock looks in. And the offering. Swung on and fouled off to the left. 112 pitches thrown by Rosenbrock. The counter will say 116. If you're following us, KSIRsports.com. But that's part of the four intentional balls that count against the pitcher, even though he never threw it. One and two, and now Lopez calls time. Redfern at third, Medina at second. They're going to try to force Rosenbrock maybe into a balk or something. One and two. One in the pitch. Swung on and fouled to the screen. Lopez stays alive. Still at one and two. Rosenbrock ready. Wine and pitch. Swung on, grounded on the first base line, and Hirschfeld has it, steps of the bag, and the inning is over. We head to the eighth inning. As the Bulldog, do they call it foul? Wow. They just called that ball foul. They called it foul. So we're not going anywhere. He still has the at-bat. Still a 1-2. University can still win it here in the seventh. The pitch. Swung on and tapped foul behind the plate. Count is still one ball and two strikes. To Nate Lopez. Rosenbrock looks in. And the pitch. Swung on and lifted foul at a play off to the left. 
It stays at one and two. University looking to win this game in the bottom of the seventh inning. And John Hirschfeld will pay a visit to the mound. John Hirschfeld Jr., that is. With a one ball and two strike count. And this game deadlocked at two. Here in the bottom half of the seventh inning. The B Diggers trailed two to nothing. And then made it a two two game with single runs in the middle innings. So here we go. One ball and two strikes. Nate Lopez. Another critical pitch coming up for Kyle Rosenbrock. And he's out of the stretch here. And the offering. Swung on and foul to the screen. Wow. Lopez is nearly on it. He is fouled off. Six pitches in a row. Rosenbrock cannot put him away. And swung on that ball. Is lifted towards center. Nico Guzman leaps. And... He makes the catch. Oh, Guzman reacted like he didn't catch it, but he made the catch. And the inning is over. We head to the eighth. That got scary for Guzman. He misjudged it a little bit. Brush two, University two, as we head to the eighth. On 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. We head to the eighth inning in Greeley. What a game between the B-Diggers and University Bulldogs. Nate Lopez with an outstanding at-bat fouled off six pitches in a row. Then popped one into center, caught by Nico Guzman. His body language dictated that he didn't have the ball. But I think he was upset with himself that he somehow misjudged it. Nonetheless, it still counts as an out as we head to the eighth inning. Two very good baseball teams. And now the beat diggers have the part of the order they want up. The two, three, four, perhaps five, six, and seven hitters. And we have the third pitcher of the game. And Xavier Cruz. Number 12, Malto. I believe that's who's that. No, Spencer Wilcox, excuse me. Spencer Wilcox is the new pitcher. Wine and pitch. Ooh, and that fastball nearly hit him. One ball and no strikes. Everything else looks like it remains the same except left field. Because he was out in left field. We'll check who's out there now. For a university. One in the 1-0. Swing and a miss. This is a power throwing right hander. That levels the count at one ball, one strike. Two runs on five hits for Bryce. They made two errors. Two runs on eight hits for university. They made three. B diggers have stranded five. University has left nine on base. 1-1. One, one. Low. Two balls and one strike. We'll pick up Rockies on deck or first pitch in progress following this game. Two balls and one strike to Baby Matos Garcia. Popped out, grounded out, and singled. One for three in the game. And the pitch. Fastball is upstairs. Three and one. And he's got plenty of speed and he gets on the bases. Rush two, University two. We've hit the two-hour mark in this game. Started just a tad late. Wine and pitch. That's over for a strike at the knees with a fastball. As Wilcox took something off it. Three balls and two strikes. Malto settles back into the box. And stepping out now. we got a three-ball, two-strike pitch. About to be delivered to Baby Maltos Garcia. Here it is. Swung on and popped up in a shallow right center field. Second baseman Jones is out. The right fielder comes in and making the catch over there. That's not Spence, that's for sure. That's somebody else. Yeah, that is Nathan Lopez. He makes the catch for the opening out. That was one of the changes made. Ryan Hirschfeld has doubled, walked, and singled. 
His single drove in. Brushes second run. He's two for two. Righty against righty. Wine and offering. And the breaking ball is in the dirt. Yeah, you've got to get two of the next three hitters on. These are your best. Hirschfeld and Rosenbrock. Then Guzman is in the hole. With one out and the base is empty in the eighth inning. And the 1-0. Swing and a miss. Tried to make it a 3-2 game and a ball up in the zone. And the count is 1-1 one and one on Ryan Hirschfeld. Rush. And the offering. Curveball is lifted into the right center field gap. A long run, but to his right is Lopez, and he makes the catch. That ball twisted right towards him. And there's two down. That wind is tailing left to right. And Kyle Rosenbrock is 0 for 3. Reached under there twice and popped the center. Well, this is his time right now because I don't know if he's going to take the mound in the eighth inning. He's thrown well over 100 pitches. The right-hander Wilcox delivers. Swung on and popped foul and off to the right and out of play. It's 0-1. Now balls and one strike to Kyle Rosenbrock. We're in the eighth inning. The University scored their two runs in the second. They've been held off the scoreboard since. Wine and pitch. Breaking ball bounces in. B Digger scored a run in the fourth and one more in the fifth. One ball and one strike to Kyle Rosenbrock. The sun is still out in full force. Rush lays down the sign, and the offering swung on and driven high into center field. Cox is going way back towards the fence, now comes in as the wind takes it, and then Lopez makes the catch. I'm telling you, that was straightaway center caught in right center. One, two, three inning for Spencer Wilcox. We head to the bottom of the eighth inning in Greeley. Brush two, University two on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. Ryan Hirschfeld is now the new pitcher for the B-Diggers. Rosenbrock threw 118 pitches, 82 strikes, and 36 balls. Struck out eight. Only walked the battery. He was very effective. But now Ryan Hirschfeld, the number two pitcher, is in there for the B-Diggers. Rosenbrock to short. B.J. Hirschfeld at first. Baby Matos Garcia goes to second. And those are essentially the changes for the B-Diggers. Here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Spencer Wilcox has doubled, struck out, and singled. He's two for three. And he will lead off for University in the bottom of the eighth inning. Again, we'll get you out to the Rockies and Mets right after this game. From Coors Field in the first of a four-game set. But this game has lived up to its billing. We had two good pitchers out there. Now we've seen four good pitchers in Hurstfeld being number five. And it's very hard to hit one out today because of this wind. It's a cross wind, so it's not only blowing across the field, but staying in the field of play. Certainly not flying out. Wilcox, incidentally... Four University is the number six hitter. Six, seven, and eight for University. If the beat diggers get to a ninth inning, they'll have the five, six, and seven. Now, when you have Lions coming up and then two non-league games, you go with your best pitchers in this league game. That's the bat, number 24, Spencer Wilcox. Now, here's Wilcox with a close stance from the right side. That front foot closer to the plate than the back foot. Wind by Hirschfeld to pitch. Swing and a miss of... Fastball up and in. Boy, that thing was tailing up and in. No balls and one strike. On Wilcox. The pitch. Breaking ball. Bounce foul up the third base side. And the count moves to 0-2. Oh and 2. University looking just for one run. They haven't scored since the second. 
Right now we're in the eighth inning. The Bulldogs at second and two down, and Nate Lopez off of Kyle Rosenberg popped the center to end that threat. No balls, two strikes. Hirschfeld doing some landscaping on the hill there with his right cleat, trying to get a grip. Gets a sign from Peterson. The wine and pitch. Curveball is a called strike three. That froze Wilcox on the inside corner, and there's one down. Strikeout number nine by B. Digger pitching. There's Carson Cox, who walked, struck out, and reached on a B. Digger error. He is 0 for 2 in the game. We're not at a point we're going to need the lights anytime soon, but there are lights on this field. The pitch, swag, and a miss, Hirschfeld. Overpowered Cox with a fastball at 0-1. Hirschfeld got hit rather hard against Estes Park. That was more of a hitter-friendly day. The B-Diggers proved that with 21 runs. This is more of a pitcher-friendly day. No balls and one strike. Wine and offering. Swung on, grounded right side, into right field for a base hit. Beyond the outstretched glove of B.J. Hirschfeld. And Cox has his first hit of the game. Now the beat diggers at double play depth. Seth Hill. And Seth Hill will be stepping in. He took Spence's place. He beat his first at bat. Game for the Bulldogs. He's way off the plate from the right side. The pitch, fastball, a strike on the inside corner, thigh high. And it's 0-1. You don't want an error to cost you here either. Make the plays of your brush. Three-step lead for Cox. Step off. Yeah, you got to watch out for throws as well. It's always a risk with a pickoff attempt. Hirschfeld stretches. And the offering. Swung on and lifted towards center field. Now that's going to tail to the right. Guzman to his left. Still coming, still coming. And the ball's going to drop. Picked up by foul. And he's got no throw to second. You got to know that ball's tailing to the right. It's a base hit for Seth Hill. Well, that would tell you that's more a foul's ball. Up to bat number 33, Cody. It was hit directly at Guzman, but that's the way the ball's been moving. The B-Diggers did not read that wall. Should have been an easy out. Because that hung up there for a long time. Here's Cody Rush. Singled and popped out twice. He is one for three. The winning run is Carson Cox at second base. The stretch and the offering. And the breaking ball is upstairs. One ball and no strikes. It's not an error, but it's going to be treated like one if the B-Diggers lose this one. And the 1-0. Riding up and in. 2-0 to rush. You don't want the bases loaded with one down, then... You're going to have to bring everybody in. On deck is Ryan Jones. This is the number nine hitter. The bottom of the lineup is getting it done right now for University. 2-0 pitch. Fastball, a strike. Clutch pitch at the knees down the middle. It's 2-1. and one. Cox off of second. He singled. Hill off of first. He had a pop fly single. The Bulldogs in the game have ten hits to five for Brush. Two balls, one strike, one out. The stretch by the senior Hirschfeld. And the pitch. Swung on, lied. Off the first base. In the right field. Foul's going to pick it up. Rounding third as Cox trying to score. And he's in there. He's in there on the line drive single into right field off the bag. By Cody Rush. And the University Bulldogs have defeated the Brush Bee Diggers in eight innings. By a score... Of three to two. Let's take a two minute break. Two minutes. And we'll wrap it up after this on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. Beat Digger Post Game Show is brought to you by Buildings by Design. Knowing who you can trust to do a good job is the tough part nowadays. But when you hire Buildings by Design, you can trust you get the building you want when you want it. And at the quality you deserve, start your build project right with Buildings by Design. 
The brush beat diggers lose a heartbreaker in eight innings, three to two, three runs, 11 hits, three errors, 11 left on base for University, two runs, five hits, two errors, five left on base for Brush. The winning pitcher in relief was Spencer Wilcox, and the loss went to Ryan Hirschfeld. Time of the game, two hours and 12 minutes. University off starting pitcher Kyle Rosenbrock grabbed a 2 0 lead. In the second inning, RBI singles from Cody Rush and Ryan Jones. B Diggers were held off the board until the fourth when B.J. Hirschfeld singled. Driving in a run, Ryan Hirschfeld did the same in the fifth. But then University got back-to-back hits with one out and nobody on in the bottom of the eighth inning. And then Cody Rush, the ninth-place hitter, hit a line drive off the first base bag down the right field line. And Carson Cox was able to score from third. University wins an 8-3-2. to two. They improved to 6-2 in Patriot League play overall in the season. They are now 14-4. and four. B-Diggers drop to 4-4 four and four in league play. And on the season, the B-Diggers are now sitting at 10-6. They'll be back in action tomorrow when they take on Lions at home, 4 o'clock on 10-10, as well as KSIR.com. Sound engineer and producer, Brush B. Digger Baseball, has been Rose Condes. I'm John Beltran. The Rockies are coming up next with Rockies on deck in progress. The final score today from Tom Rose Field in Greeley. University 3, Brush 2 in 8 innings on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com.